There is nothing more devastating than feeling absolutely hungry and taking the time to make scrambled eggs just to find out that they are once again far too dry and inedible. And this is now exactly how you make a good, smushy, soft scrambled egg. Well, I'm martial arts people. Yet another video out of the kitchen. Today I'm showing you three secret tricks that I learned in my couple of years now that I'm doing fitness, how to make the perfect scrambled eggs. And yes, you need those because when you do scrambled eggs, it's really, really easy to mess it up, to make it dry, to make it not tasty enough. And there's nothing simpler and easy to make and time efficient than scrambled eggs because we're having a lot of good micronutrients, a lot of good fats. We also have six grams of protein in with a couple of more ingredients who can make this astoundingly good. Now the first thing that we are doing is we crack up four eggs. You can use also more if you want, but the go-to for me is usually four. Two. And after we've done this, here comes already secret tip number one. We're gonna use just a wee bit of milk to make the egg a little bit more creamy, that it's not as dry when we put it in the pan and take it out. By doing this, we're gonna get a little more soft tissue, so to speak, that we want to have for a very delicious scrambled eggs dish. So I usually salt a little bit more. I also got myself some pepper, I use some garlic. And next we're gonna prepare 125 grams or just half of a chunk or a block of tofu. That's gonna give us another like 16 to 70 grams of protein and another protein source, soy, which is actually good because I love mixing up the protein sources. And we're giving everything into the cup that we prepared. You can also throw in some cheese, that's also something I like myself. And then what is really, really important now is that you give it a really good stir. You don't want that the egg egg is separate into like the white and the yellow uh, yolk. You want it to have all one really nice mixed mass. And for this, I'm using a spoon. Now here comes secret tip number two. Next thing that we're doing is we're taking a tablespoon, we fill it with water and put it into the pan. I'm telling you the reason in a sec. And now is the time to start up the plates and bring them on max heat as much as you can. We want to have like one or two minutes until all the water is devaporized in the pan and then we're gonna add the mixture that we prepared before. And now you might ask, hey Chris, why do we do it like this and not just throw it in the pan and put them on like six or seven? The reason is when you put it on full speed, add the egg quickly for one to two minutes and then remove it, you're gonna be sure that when you have constant stirring, it is all cooked from all of the sides and not too long because what makes scrambled eggs really dry and not like tasty and, and all the softness is gone is when you cook it too long. Now one thing to prevent this is exactly by doing this here. It's now maybe a minute in and you see the water starts to boil. Okay, all the water is gone. Now we add, we need to be quick now. We just add a little bit of oil and then we have now the good heat. Now we put all the mixture in it really fast and in the start just let it maybe one minute to one and a half minutes like this do nothing and then start to stir and okay, now you see this here this is what we want and we start stirring and we keep stirring until we think the egg is almost done but not done already so normally when you do scrambled eggs you will leave it in the pan and by removing it a little bit before this point that we think it is good it will then cook afterwards because it's so hot because we preheated the pan to the highest amount of levels and it's almost good now it's almost good it's literally like two minutes in the pan now it looks a little bit shiny that's all the moisture that we usually wouldn't want I'm gonna add now a little bit of greens, a little bit of spinach because I like the flavor of it and you can never have enough greens, are you right? Wow. Okay, and then goes. We shut this off here and now we just have to wait like maybe a minute or two more. That's the time you would usually prepare a seed, get yourself something to drink and so on. And this is now exactly how you make a good, smushy, soft scrambled egg. As I said, the egg now, as we talk here, is gonna tighten out a little bit more because it was so hot, because we moved the pan on top heat level. And I would say, enjoy your meal. There's no reason to not eat healthy, to not eat good amount of proteins and greens and good fats and good carbs. And if you're interested to see how you make a high protein dinner in 12 point, I think, 46 seconds, then watch this video here next, and we'll see you in this one.